here we are, some sun and uh, sanity in Norway, in the Oslo, uh, at Vikelandsparken, and sculptures in this crazy corona madness hysteria time just get some sun some D vitamin nothing else to do just wait out the madness which is costing the economy dearly and uh, never have this can use so much money and resources and something as probably not scary as the corona thing. I mean a virus that only kill the very old, the very sick, the obese and smokers and not young people in general. And basically acts like a, acts like a influenza virus, which is now coming clearer and clearer, breaking down the economy. For this, it's just not worth it. Just back over there. It's, fine. it's a nice place actually. When we get to Oslo, we go and look it up. It's a nice park. Yeah, it's spring now. It's going to be beautiful soon. So, yeah. I'm really shocked how the media has brought this to the brink of insanity. And it should be handled like any other influenza outbreak protect the vulnerable, tell sick people to stay home, take better care of themselves. But no, 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 we're gonna limit everyone, everyone. And it's now costing so much money that you could probably solve poverty that kills 36,000 kids each day from lack of medicine, nutrition and all. And this craziness is also driven mainly by lifestyle, obesity, smoking, alcoholism and generally bad health. And I think honestly we should from now on tell to everyone in the West everyone in the world who is treating their own bodies like a garbage can and get sick every time there is a virus or get cancer or cost the common good enormous amount of resources tell them tell the world to get their shit together this is not just a question about about uh, health and obesity is also a question about how we in general use resources and as we know the healthcare system in America is blown out of proportions because of obesity and it's funny I've been thinking about this for a long time it is almost like in a movie apocalypse now where he says first we shoot them to pieces and then we give them a band-aid but in this case it is a question about first they shoot themselves to pieces and then they are screaming to everybody else to give them a fucking band-aid and this is why the world is struggling with obesity with the environment with poverty with war and every other thing you can imagine so 
yeah, it is time to get our shit together. If it wasn't for people being that unhealthy in the West, this virus would be a whimper, which is, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, also is. And I'm kind of sick of it. Sick of the whining, sick of the media, sick of the media hyping it up. And that's what happened. Media started the hype. And then the population becomes hysterical. And then stupid politicians with a huge bias, which are arguing amongst themselves, are making choices that will cost enormous amount of money. And maybe even the economy. Just think about this. What if there next year comes another virus from China? What then? We do the same thing again. We break down the world economy, make the poor more poor, quit society because a few people might die. As my brother told me today, one of them was my parents and my mother. Well, my mother has been smoking for 60 years, and if she dies of this, she has it coming. This is what actually kills smokers, who doesn't take care of himself. My father, which is 81, is way more healthy than her, and uh, he will probably survive it. But she would have real problems if she got it. Even getting a no, normal influenza would might, maybe kill her. So, yeah, quit smoking. Take care of your bodies. Take care of yourself. These sculptures, by the way, are made by... Uh, what's his name? Vigelam. No, it's called Vigelam's <laughs> Park. It's beautiful sculpture, sir. Quite fun. The Germans love them. I wonder why. <laughs> you saw Europa. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I like this one. This big belt down here. Woman on my taste. Okay, so I hope when this is over that people realize that we're kind of crazy. This toilet paper shit. What the hell is that? Toilet papers. What the hell is the toilet paper stuff? You know, that's crazy. The other day I was told. Uh, I was joking with a guy who bought a lot of toilet paper in the store and he told me that I hoped I died of the virus so that was nice anyway this is then from Norway yay okay. my thoughts about the coronavirus and general hysteria people are scared of the wrong things you should be scared of obesity. You should be scared of drinking too much. You should be scared of not living the life they do have. Instead of being afraid of dying from something that basically kill almost no one. When you look at the real numbers. And uh, yeah. It's a shame for the people who die, of course. I don't want to die, but I'm, it's on my schedule. There's nothing I can do with that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, I can prolong it by living a healthy life so I don't get the sniffles when everybody gets the corona, which they probably already have because the coronavirus has between 14 days and 24 days incubation time 
and people were going to the gym, training, sweating for months, weeks with this in the air and I guess almost everybody has it. So yeah, let me make some more videos about this, but for now that's what I have to say. So. It's a big cock. So, very, really nice day in Oslo. I guess the coronavirus made me go here. So, with this, I'm signing off. Bang. See you next time. Check out my Patreon, by the way. Link in description and on my channel. Also, check out my painting channel. You find a link in description to that too. So, see me paint. Go see me paint. Okay, bye bye. Okay, uh, we are in the end. Here are some of the sculptures. Uh, remember to go to my uh, painting page. You find a link in description and uh, after this video. Uh, also, go and check out my Patreon and sign up for a dollar five if you want to support my artwork or my channel. So, see you in the next video.